Caleb saying so much for tuning in. I don't have a DIY, but it is a tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a pot roast. I promised you guys a video and I'm going to make you one. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make a pot roast. You guys know I love to cook and I haven't been doing so lately. And I want something good and hearty. So I got me a pot roast and I'm gonna show y'all how to make a pot roast today, okay? So here's all of my ingredients. I got everything fresh today. So I have my red potatoes in my crock pot and I'm also gonna be using this McCormick pot roast seasoning. And I also have these beef broth cubes that I actually got from Sprouts. They are vegan and gluten free. I am also going to be using some sweet peas. These are no salt added ones. And I also have some chicken broth as well as some baby Bella mushrooms. They're already sliced. Black pepper, garlic, pepper seasoning, minced onion as well as garlic powder. And then I have baby carrots so I don't have to slice carrots up. And lastly, I got my beef chuck roast. It's boneless and this one doesn't have any antibiotics. Nothing additional added to it. No growth hormones. It's supposed to be like healthy. Okay, so I try and go for meat like that. I really don't eat red meat to be honest. My iron is extremely low and I'm trying to incorporate red meat into my diet more. And lastly, I have an onion. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to make this pot roast. Let's get started. First, I'm going to go ahead and get my skillet onto the stove and turn it on medium high so then I'll take some of this grapeseed oil and I'll add it to my skillet so I'll let this warm up for a little bit but I'll go ahead and season my meat in the meantime so I already have my meat nice and clean I'm gonna go ahead and season it using this garlic pepper seasoning also some garlic powder some minced onions also some ground black pepper. So I know I have a lot of seasonings on here. I like my meat to have a lot of seasoning on it. I don't like bland food at all. So you can add as much as you'd like. So I'm going to flip my roast over and season the other side. And I'm just pressing it down using my tongue so that the seasoning can get like all over. So comment below if any of y'all did this, okay? So black people always test to see how hot our oil is by putting a little bit of water in it and letting it pop. So here we go. And that's how we know how hot the oil is, I swear. Growing up, that was priceless. My mother always did that. So then I'll go ahead and add my pot roast to the skillet. And if you're wondering guys, I don't use salt. I try to keep sodium out of my diet. A lot of things already have it in there. So if you're wondering why I didn't add salt to it, that's why, okay? So my roast is getting pretty brown. I can see it start to smoke. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. So while the roast is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and take an onion and a knife and I'm going to dice it up. I also have some baby Bella mushrooms that I'm going to dice up as well. So I'm only going to dice up half of my onion. I'm going to save the other half for another meal. And I'm going to go ahead and take my portobello mushrooms and dice these up as well. Alright, so here's what the diced up onions as well as the diced up mushrooms look like. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add the pot roast to the crock pot and then add these to the skillet. So here's what the pot roast will look like. I went ahead and I browned all sides. It looks delicious. You want to make sure that you flip it over and fully cook it all the way through. So then you'll take your crock pot and you'll turn it on. Then you'll remove the lid. You're going to place your pot roast right in the inside. So then you'll take a fresh clean skillet. You're going to add some more grapeseed oil to the skillet and we're going to add our onions as well as our mushrooms. So I went ahead and started fresh with a clean skillet because I tried to use the oil that was left over from the pot roast and it made everything turn black and I was like, huh, 
what the video said to do, but it didn't work out, so that's why I cleaned everything out and added the onions and the mushrooms afterwards. So my onions are beginning to be transparent, which is what the goal is. I don't want to overcook these. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and I'm going to take one tablespoon of some flour and sprinkle it over the onions and the mushrooms and then mix everything together. Then I'm going to add a little bit of water to the skillet. So next, add your beef broth to the crock pot. Then I'm going to take my bag and season and add it to the crock pot as well. Next I'm going to take two of these cubes and add it to the crock pot as well. And this is basically just going to give it more flavor. You will use these cubes if you didn't use beef broth and that was the case for me earlier. But I went ahead and headed to the store and I got the beef broth but I wanted it to be super flavorful so I wanted to add the cubes to it as well. Then I'm going to add my onions as well as my mushrooms. So I'm going to place this top on here, but then I'm going to peel some potatoes to add it to the mixture. So then I'm going to take about seven potatoes and I'm going to peel them, dice them up, and then add them to the crock pot. So just take a potato peeler and you're going to peel all of your potatoes. So next I'm going to take my potatoes and I'm going to dice them up and then add them to the pot roast, alright? So next I'll add my potatoes to my crock pot. Next I'll add my baby carrots to the crock pot. And then I'll add my peas. And I'm going to add a cup of water just to make sure everything is covered up and gets well cooked. And because I'm extra, I'm gonna add some more seasoning. Stir it back up again. And I'm gonna add a little bit of parsley flakes as well. So lastly, I'm gonna be adding some crushed red peppers to the mixture. I like my food a little bit spicy, not overly spicy. So I'm going to allow this to cook for a few hours. I'll come back and let you guys know how it turned out. Okay love, so the pot roast just about finished. I just went ahead and cut some of the meat off and I'm going to place it in my bowl right there. So I'm going to add some of the vegetables to my bowl here. And here's the finished product. We got your carrots and your potatoes, your meat. I put a little bit of parsley on the top. Everything looks beautiful. If it's not colorful, it's not food. I love to make colorful food. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe as well as hit the notification bell. I hope you have enjoyed today's recipe, today's dish. Let me know down in the comment section what you thought. I am going to hit the sack. Have a beautiful day. And I'll see you guys very soon in a DIY. Have a blessed one. Bye.